changes. Night. Uh, I believe it is the quarterfinals there, Cairo. Watching and from it's been Zia. An Watching from Zia's point of view. You, what's up, guys? We got Mind Freak here, casting alongside Cairo and Dino. I'm going to be hopping on over here with Mr. Black Inferno himself. This is going to be an exciting matchup here today, guys. Been watching Inferno, been watching Zia play earlier, so it's been pretty fun. Uh, shout out to Big Slim for following the stream. So, uh, what do you guys think of this matchup so far, guys? I mean, I've been, been able to judge both players equally. Pretty good gamers around, so kind of interesting to see this matchup. It's going to be very intriguing seeing this gameplay. Zia is one of the best Ronins I know. Absolute god tier Ronin gameplay. And Black Inferno is highly unpredictable. He, from what I've seen, he mains multiple Titans. He's an insane pilot, insane Titan player. Uh, I think Zia has more 1v1 experience, but they're both going to be insanely, uh, both going to have some insanely good gameplay. Uh, Zia tends to stick more to Ronin, whereas, uh, like I said with Black Inferno, he doesn't uh, necessarily stick to one Titan. And so we're going to see how this goes. It's going to be fun. Yeah, well, we see the, we see the well, Ronin based, right on, based on what you're saying right now, Inferno is going to be starting off with a Tone here. So it is going to be to see an interesting matchup, Tone and Ronin. We've seen these matchups before early on in the day, so be kind of curious. Zia's coming in with the Arcanade cheese. Yep, nice Arcanade cheese. That... Both, both Ward grab batteries. I know that round one went all the way to round, or game one went all the way to round five, so you know these guys both want the win. They're both playing equal. Interesting to see how this plays out here. Zia's got health advantage Apparently, at the moment, nice plus core advantage. There. Interesting to see Inferno running the double ping on, on his tone right here. Trying to get the distance away from Zia's drone, and Zia is just trying to stay up on him right now. Great blocks by Zia. Kind of missing those tracking shots there. Yeah. Good block, a little bit of a miss there. Good reset on the phase. Tone's got to make a decision here. And, and that core comes in. This is probably Oh, the salvo core, the core oh, push, the core, core push. Core, 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 core. Both are doomed. How is this going to end, guys? It's coming down to the wire. It's coming down, and Tone takes it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it yourself right there. Black Inferno with only one scratch of two health left. Coming out of the smoke and getting Zia for the execution of phenomenal. Absolutely play incredible. By Caleb the Black Inferno. Absolutely incredible, guys. Just right out of the Tone. Black Inferno being able to get uh, that rip out. Interesting enough, though, damage. Only a 4,000 uh, point damage difference between Inferno and Zia. So it kind of be interesting to see what happens here. Um, see what uh, Inferno's gonna do to try to counteract a little bit more damage on that too. For any of you Ronin haters in the chat, awesome. let's get a hashtag watch Ronin die. So, we, we are Ronin <laughs> lovers on this channel, but I understand the hatred, so go have at it, yeah, guys. Everybody's Ronin Chevers. <laughs> but interesting enough, we are gonna see another Ronin Ro v Ronin matchup here. Inferno kind of just See, he's going for the battery also, push. Alright, okay. Zia's got center control, that means he has a battery advantage. If he can get health advantage, then Black Inferno's gonna be forced to push. Zia can make a play on a battery very soon, or punish. Black Inferno's gotta find a way to reposition safely. Zia's got the reload, nice reload canceled. Yeah. Black Inferno got the arc wave though, with the health advantage. Zia yeah, got the return. Oh, uh, Inferno, yep, yep. Ooh, nice Black Inferno's got high ground. Yep. I have the high ground now, Anakin. It's over. Nice arc waves by Zia. Going for this battery. Oh, he's gonna get bodied by the Auto Titan. Auto Titan meta. <laughs> and that's going to be ripped. Oh, maybe not. Inferno's not gonna no, get up. No, maybe not. Inferno just staying on. A little bit of a by Inferno there. Z Zia needs high ground, otherwise, he's gonna lose that health advantage real fast. Inferno's gonna have core soon. Zia's gonna have core soon. We might see a sword core fight coming in, guys. Here it is. Inferno's not got the core, does he? Inferno doesn't have core, and Ronin's got him doomed. Inferno with those oh, reaches. Dude, Inferno is core, one shot. Core. Zia has three hits on sword core before he's down. Inferno's got to make a play, guys. He's got to figure out what he's going to do. He's got to do him with the shotgun, go for that phase rip, otherwise it's going to be all over. Stay tuned, guys. It's not done yet. Zia going for the safe arc wave plays. Is Zia gonna pull the battery? Is he gonna go for the arcs? He's going for the arcs, guys. No, 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 oh, here no. comes the shotgun plays. And there it is. And Zia. there it was. Shotgun plays. Zia, going. Zia, Zia. Good round and Zia would make you a believer of the Zia, Zia, Zia. Incredible <laughs> plays there. That's incredible, Lord Zia. Incredible Ronin plays. That is Lord Zia with the Ronin plays at work, guys. 
Yeah, taking the run to match up home. Uh, disadvantages to Inferno that last round too. He did have the sword core. I mean, he did have a little bit more health trying to get that arc wave off, but he accidentally did jump out of his Titan to go for battery. Yeah. I think that is what kind of did him in there a little bit, especially trying to pull that first battery and taking that massive yes. amount of damage. Zia is very smart about his decision plays, and Inferno has less 1v1 experience, which is why uh, Zia is getting the high ground advantages more often, especially at early start. That's why Zia is getting those uh, early health advantages, really working with that. Inf yep. Inferno okay. in late game is making the plays, though. Yeah, Inferno did switch to Allegiant now, so uh, going to see a Legion versus Kyro, thanks for the follow. Welcome here. to the time again. He's going to be a little bit uh, slow to get to the uh, uh, to the battery, so it'll be interesting to see if batteries do come into play. Ooh, Ronin v Legion. How is this going to go, guys? We just saw some Ronin v Legion gameplay a minute ago. Or, uh, Tome v Legion and Ronin v Legion. Let's see how this goes, guys. It's going to be right, a very close matchup. Both are so both do have batteries. See, it is going to have that 50% bonus battery boost already, so 3% more than this, so something... We're gonna have to see something big here from Inferno. Legion's got the high ground though. How is he gonna take that into play? Legion needs to land those power shots. That's one. Z is in trouble. Ooh, Zia really lost that. Zia. That matchup was very hard on Zia. How right do you there. feel about Zia's positioning here, Dan? Uh, po positioning on the low this ground low, or uh, on the low ground is a very big disadvantage, especially because power shot can launch him into the air. Zia needs to be fighting for high ground against Legion, otherwise he's always at a disadvantage and he can't. He, he really can't yeah. win on low ground. He's losing the arc wave potential yeah, for the damage output. He's losing the uh, viewpoints and the battery control most of all. So he really needs to change up that positioning. Be able to hit that arc wave over the building there. Pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, Inferno is doing a good job of keeping Zia at range and down low. And Zia's doomed. Some of the shots. Zia is now doomed. So. I love the positioning by Inferno here. Zia he is playing well. far too gonna, passively. You'll see him flex back right here. Zia has been playing very timid. He really needs to uh, get a little bit more aggressive in Legion's face and uh, plan those power shots better. Kind of landed a little bit of the power shot there. Zia does have sword core. Sword core is out right now. And that's going to be it. Misjudging it. Nice. Hey, Wad, can you back nice out? We're commentating. Inferno's. Great plays by Inferno there. One more round really for Inferno to advance to the semifinals of the loser bracket. And take on Lord Glitchy Fishes. And Lord Gl Glitchy I wouldn't be surprised Fishes. To, I would not be surprised to see Inferno take a, a North Star here. Yes. I'm not going to lie. I would not be surprised to see a North Star. Yeah, neither would yeah, I a North did. Star or maybe a Scorch. I wouldn't be surprised Black to see Inferno, a Scorch. Black Inferno, I've seen him pull what? off those sneaky oh, plays. Inferno... Zia switched on the Ion, guys. So Inferno... Really? Okay, well, the nice thing is, Ronin, uh, uh, Inferno did switch to Ronin, so we're going to see a Ronin v. Ion match here. I haven't really seen uh, much uh, Ion play from Zia in this tournament at all. He's been strictly Ronin here. So it'll be kind of interesting to see. This is a very interesting Good matchup. Start. Ronin needs to be smart to use those phases to remove the trip wires and the arc wave safely. Ion needs to position around those trip wires, go for those laser shot punishes, and melee box Ronin when he gets too close. Neither side uh, necessarily wins by default. Uh, Ronin has a better chance of winning this matchup typically. Vortex. It's going to be great though. That yeah. Vortex punish was real. Yeah, Inferno. Yeah, it was real. Inferno Zia just lost battery control though, unless he here. gets that shot. Yep, Zia's at did. a huge disadvantage now. He needs to work for that back. And he knows it too. Interesting matchup here over in the slight corner here. A good push by Inferno. I do agree with that push right there. Yeah, great push by Inferno. Oh, Zia's being pushed by the Ronin, oh, and it's over. It, and that is it! Inferno that is with it. the Ronin gameplay right there. Inferno is going to advance to the next round. Great job to Zia, though. Great games today, Zia. You are a phenomenal Ronin. You had a great team. Great to see you progressing and becoming the elite player that I personally never expected, and now I don't even want to play you, Zia. So Dude, Zia, God, Zia's man. a god. <laughs> Zia is actually the person Zia who taught me. God, Dude, Zia is actually the person who taught me how to play Ronin. Zia was my Ronin tutor. Really? Back when I first started Ronin, my first wow. like week of playing Ronin, everything I learned was from Zia, and then after about a week, I just started picking up new tricks and teaching him things. It was awesome. Really helped each other out. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do not go anywhere because we are only getting started. We now have Black Inferno going up against Glitchy Fishes here in the loser bracket semifinals. Winner to go on and play J-Kit.
in the loser bracket finals, and the winner of that going on to play the legend Dinosaur D one two three. <laughs> Everyone who is not uh, <laughs> Zia or Black Inferno, make sure you guys are on spectate for this following match. GG Zia, by the way. I didn't want to interrupt, but GG's. Great plays really by good, Inferno GG's, for really sure. Really good gameplay from both you guys by Inferno and Zia. Great, great plays, guys. Like to see more, more gameplay from you guys in the future. Um, a lot of good stuff going to be happening here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we guys, are getting ready get, for. Um, What's up, Inferno? Is in here, please. Uh, yeah. What for? Game in the game or the party? Game. Well, both. He's okay. That's who I play next. All right. Thank you. Uh, was, uh, was that the last match then? Yeah, that was last. All right. Okay. Yeah, that was game two.